Burgess here with Music Marketing TV, and today we're going to be writing some music with Real Strat Elite. So I'm going to be focusing in on the multi-mode because the plugin is extremely in-depth that you could just talk about 100 things when it comes to this plugin. There's just so much. So we're going to go into just sort of working with it and giving you a vibe for how you can use it easily because it can be a little easy to get overwhelmed by it, especially if you don't play guitar or have never even touched one. Uh, there's, there's a lot in here where they use terms that you may not be familiar with. So we're just going to go in and we're going to go straight for multi-mode. Multi-mode is cool because it's pretty easy to do melody stuff and chord stuff at the same time. So fundamentally, uh, right now, I don't have it going through an amp yet, so it's going to be pretty soft. It's just totally dry right now. If we play a note while in multi-mode, we have this bright area. If you play a note in this bright area, it's called the main zone. It's going to figure out, you know, the chord and it's going to play it like how a guitar player would play it. So if you give it more notes, that gives it more information on what chord to play. So G major, G minor, we could add C minor, all this cool stuff. So that's the first thing. We can just basically write chords and away we go. Uh, after that, we may want to do some stuff with... A, with a melody we'll, we'll get to that here in just a second so let's go ahead let's pull up the piano roll and let's just write in some chords real quick and let's just have a C minor chord here at the beginning so I have C minor and then we'll go to F and then we'll go to G and we'll also we'll change these velocities to all be relatively high this is gonna be important later and uh, let's see here. We'll go to F. What the heck? We'll go down to A. Uh, we could do that, actually. Let's do it like this. And then we'll go to G. Whoops, I meant to copy that. And right now, this is what we have. pretty standard stuff here so okay we've got some chords very nice very cool let's say we want to add some little melody bits and boops on there well they've got this melody option here and if we come in here I'm just gonna go I'm gonna go to just regular melody I guess now we'll go voice leading so in voice leading if a note is below this velocity this velocity uh, it will become a melody note meaning it'll be interpreted you know differently so I'm going to go ahead and lower this just a bit and I'm going to apply some makeup velocity. So we're going to be playing notes softer and so we need to add velocity to them afterwards. So at first it's just to tell the VST this is a melody note and then afterwards you add some velocity back so that all your melody notes aren't super soft. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to give it like 50 or something and maybe a little less somewhere in there. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. So, okay, so in the piano roll, I'm going to add some notes. And so we're playing C minor here. So I'll do a little, you know, C minor kind of thing. And we'll take these notes and we'll make them softer. And in fact, let's also change the color so that it's obvious that these are uh, melody notes. So these are our chords. And you see how soft that is? So what we're going to do is we're just going to pump that back up. And there's a couple other cool things you can do here. So we can add in notes this way and we can get these, these beautiful soft notes. What we can also do is you have here this strings option and basically it's gonna re-pluck the string that it's on and you're gonna have these notes be above or below. So these are called the repeat zones and you can kind of define these however you want. So you can use them for key switches and or you can use them for this. So we're gonna use it for this. So I'm going to go for the right hand and you see it's been filled in with some numbers and things. And right now, if I go in and I put some notes up there, which uh, let's go over here and there we go. They start right here. I'm going to go ahead and do it here. I'm going to do something like that. Why not? So just so you can hear it. And we'll have these be louder since they don't need to be soft so these are kind of a different beat so we'll make them a different color here we go we'll just make them some sort of a pink 
And then we could come over here and do that again. Maybe this time we go up and down. I don't know. And then at the end we go up. Sure, why not? With this, we can now begin to spice it up a little bit. So what I like to do is come in and the black keys have some different options. We're going to go for the strum option. So the strum option makes it so that these black keys down here will do various kinds of uh, strumming techniques. You know, strum up, strum down, mute, uh, palm mute, that kind of stuff. So these notes in the lower black repeat zone are these notes right here. So I'm going to go ahead and right now I've got it and you can even click and you can see it's a muted down. We can add some mutes and things. So what we can do is we could have a mute, we could restrum it. Oops, maybe right here. And we could have this repeat. Maybe we do it a bit different here. All right, so from here, we can get more complicated if we so choose. For example, it might be cool to have um, some slower strums, and then in some cases, we could do some bending and things. I'm going to go with just the slower strums for now and possibly putting that where the mutes are. Who knows? So if you come into key switches, you have all these key switch options, and you just need to turn them on. Keep Be aware that they may collide with where you're using notes for other things. So make sure you pick notes that you know are available. I'm going to come down to the very bottom one, C0, and we're going to go to, uh, where is it? There is a slow strum that is just awesome. So we're going to grab that one. It's right here at the top. All right, so now that we've got slow strum on, and we're going to come in and just verify that we've got the right note here. Yep, it's this one. And let's color this something else so that we know what it is. Well, we'll make it yellow. Why not? And so this is our slow strum, and it's going to happen right on this mute. So we could have that, we could have it at the beginning. All right, so I've added in the slow strum in two spots is what it sounds like. Beautiful. And let's go ahead and send this thing through an amp, shall we? So let's give it to a mixer track. And I'm going to do guitar rig. That's what I have. You could use any amp sim. All right. So I've just added a quick amp sim now. And this is what we have. And let's go ahead and dress it up a bit. Let's give it some drums real, real quick. All right. So with the drums, we have this. I've got another example real quick that I, I just want to show you real fast uh, along similar lines, very similar techniques. Yeah, so I was having a good time. A lot of uh, interesting things going on here. You hear some bends and things. That's courtesy of some key switches. You notice I've got quite a few turned on. Um, so we've got our chords. We're taking advantage again of the melody with the lower velocity. And so something like this, sometimes if you don't already have an idea of what you want to do, it can take a while to come up with something, uh, you know, interesting and cool. Uh, but anyways, cook this up. We've also got the real eight providing us with that lovely low end and together with uh, some drums and everything they actually sound really cool but very very similar techniques we have the top end being used with that uh, the repeat zone with a string offset like we talked about earlier on the left hand and then we've also got the slow the slow strum along with the bridge mute that's providing us with the really cool slow plucks. And then right here, this is our bend note. This bend note is being triggered by this high velocity note here. And it's kind of, it's kind of confusing because it's this note itself isn't high velocity. 
and this isn't actually triggering any like key switch or anything but the bend notes actually happening from the high velocity effect you can have an effect when it sees a note that's really high it'll trigger this so in this case it sees this high velocity note and it makes this a bend note so this is a slide down And so you can toss in little things like that and just get some really like cool rhythms coming out. So anyways, I wanted to show you a second example, one that maybe has a little bit more going on. And after that, I mean, it's up to you how crazy you want to get. I mean, you could come in and begin to get really intricate with key switches, with fret positions, with how the chords are interpreted. I mean, you just have a ton of options. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.